It's me, Cassandra from Mobile Ohm Yoga. Welcome to this online yoga practice brought to you from the San Antonio River Authority. So today I'm bringing you this practice from a very special space, not too far from our typical Monday evening yoga spot on the San Pedro Creek Culture Park. I'm here at Art Pace San Antonio. So Art Pace is an artist in residency program and gallery here in downtown San Antonio that is open for you to come and visit um, to see what the artists have been creating um, here in this amazing space. So go ahead and check out artpace.com to find out more about their hours and you can schedule a visit um, to come out and check it out. Um, if you're able to come down here to downtown, we're only steps away from the San Pedro Creek Culture Park. Um, so you can double dose your intake of culture and art um, just by taking a stroll along the creek and taking in some of the murals and different um, art portals that they've created along the way. So without any further ado, I'm so grateful to have you joining me for this free practice on this Monday evening. Let's go ahead and come down on our mats to begin. We're starting today's practice in child's pose. So taking your knees as wide as your mat, letting the big toes nestle together. And then we'll just walk the fingertips to the top of your mat. Let your forehead rest down to the floor. Hmm. Take a moment and simply arrive right here, right now in your body, in your child's pose, nestling in the hips a little deeper, maybe walking your fingertips a little longer. And then begin to expand your breath a little more full into the container of your chest. Exhaling completely as you soften into this shape. One more big breath in and exhale out. On your next inhale, begin to walk your hands over to the right side of your mats. Maybe they come off of your mats a little bit here. And then keep pressing your hips down towards the heels and the forehead stays grounded. Maybe that left hand lifts and comes on top of the right, and you can kind of interlace your, your hand from the back. Feeling a stretch in your left side body, big, full, deep breaths to help open up. Waking up. Some new space in your lungs, your chest. Release if you took the bind of your hands. You're going to inhale, walk the hands through center. And then exhale, walk them off to the left side this time. Keep pressing both hips back to your heels. Maybe the right hand comes on top of the left this time, creating that little bind. Allowing yourself to open up, stretching out into that right side body. Go ahead, release your bind if you took the hands. Bring your hands all the way into center. On your inhale, you're going to begin to lift yourself up. Sit back onto your heels. Just bring your hands in front of you. We're going to take a thread the needle here. So leaving the left hand planted, inhale, open your right arm to the sky. And as you exhale, you're going to come on to that right shoulder, bringing the right ear down to the mat. Take your left hand and re-walk it out long towards the front of your mat. Plant the palm to the mat. Big, full, deep breaths in. Sinking into the hips, sinking into the shoulder stretch. Big breath. Empty out. Inhale, begin to unwind, sitting back onto the heels again, bringing the hands right out in front of you. This time you'll thread the opposite side, left arm high, big inhale, and as you exhale, threading that left arm under, coming onto the shoulder, come onto the side of your head, and that right hand can lengthen out long to the top of your mat. Keep sitting both hips back and breathe in. 
Release the hips. One more breath here. Empty out. And then begin to bring that right hand in. Press into the mat. Bring your left hand to the floor. This time you're going to lift the hips away from your heels and begin to stack into tabletop. Wrists underneath your shoulders, knees under the hips. Inhale, belly to the mat, lifting up through the gaze. Exhale, tuck and round, chin to chest. Inhale again, through that cow pose, arching in the spine. Exhale to dome and round. One more time, inhaling, belly drops, lifting up through the gaze. And exhale to tuck and round. On your inhale, go ahead and find a neutral spine here. You're going to take your hands one palm print forward, tuck your toes under, and let's lift into downward facing dog. So take a moment to situate yourself in this new shape. Our first inversion. Walk out your legs, shake out your head, catch yourself here, catch your breath here. What a beautiful thing it is to be alive, to feel sensational, right? We feel sensation as we wake up. So soften in to that sensation. One more breath. Let it out. Right, you're going to begin to take your hands and walk them back to your feet. So keep the knees bent, the heels are going to plug down, and we're going to take a rag doll at the back of the mat. So heels are to the earth. You can reach across and grab opposite elbows. Let your head dangle in between your biceps here. Give your head a big shake yes and a big shake no. And then just let yourself release here, finding perhaps a little sway, a little bounce, whatever you need to encourage some space between the vertebrae. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Let your fingertips come down to meet the floor. On an inhale, halfway lift. With your exhale, go ahead and fold. We're gonna plant strong through the feet. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Come all the way into an upward salute. Fingers alive as they reach towards the sky. And then on your exhale, bring your hands together at your heart center. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to interlace your hands and press your palms forward, dome into the back. On your inhale, into that upward salute, palms come up, press forward through the hips, maybe a little bit of a back bend here, standing back bend. Exhale, cactus arms, bring your elbows wide. I'm going to take a couple more rounds of those arms. Inhale, bring the palms together. Interlace your hands. Exhale, round the spine, press your palms forward. Inhale, stand tall, palms to the sky, shoulders slide down the back, maybe leaning into that back bend. Exhale, cactus the arms. One more time. Inhale, bring the hands together. Interlace your hands as you exhale, press the palms away, tuck your chin. Inhale, palms slide to the sky, shoulders slide down the back. Exhale, cactus your arms. Take an inhale, keep your arms open. As you exhale, release your hands behind your back. You're going to grab your own hand here. Take an inhale. Find a little bit deeper back bend as you roll those shoulders back. And then bend at the knees as you exhale. Lead with the heart. Fold back into that uttanasana, that forward fold. This time hands are staying behind the back. Maybe you lift them up and away from the spine. Give your head a shake yes and no. As you bring a little more opening into the shoulders. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, go ahead and release your hands down to meet the floor. Inhale, halfway lift heart. 
leads the way. Look to the top of your mat. That's where we're going with the hands. As you exhale, hands are going to walk their way to the top of your mat. Go ahead this time and lower your hips into a high plank. So trying to find that plank of wood from the crown to heels, nice and solid. You can always drop your knees here. So if you need a little more ease in your day, find your breath. And then we're going to lower all the way down. Belly meets the floor. Uncurl your toes. Inhale into cobra. Elbows squeeze in. Shoulders roll back. Zip your navel in. And then exhale, lower yourself down. Coming back into downward dog. Tuck your toes. Lifting up through plank. And then taking it high. Hips to the sky. Deep breath in. And exhale, empty out. Two more. Deep breath in. Exhale, empty out. Last one. Big breath in here. Soften on the exhale. Look forward. Feet are coming to your hands this time. You can take a few steps, a big step, or maybe hop them there. Inhale, hands to shins. Halfway lift, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, melt forward, bow down. We're gonna rise all the way up. Inhale, reach your fingers high towards the sky. Exhale, cactus the arms. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, release the hands behind your back. Notice how you naturally grab your hands, switch your grip. Take another standing back bend. Inhale, wrap the elbows back, heart high. Exhale, forward fold. Hands can stay on the back or lift away. Take it into that Uttanasana with the bind. Another breath in and out here. And as you exhale, release your hands to meet the floor. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift, long, straight, flat back. Exhale, palms to earth. Step your feet back, high plank. Again, can be done from the knees. Lowering through Chaturanga, finding our flow. Inhale into Cobra once again, lifting the chest. Or perhaps Upward Dog, straighten the arms, fire up the thighs so the knees come high. Downward Dog is where we'll meet. Hips lift. Catch your breath here. Big breath in. And breath out. Taking one more breath in. And empty yourself out. Take your gaze to the top of your mat. Walk, step, or float the feet to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it down. This time we're going to find chair pose. So begin to sit your hips low and pause when the hips are about in line with your knees. Pause. Bring the weight back towards your heels. So you'll notice the knees are also shifting back. We're trying to bring knees over ankles. Now bring the palms together. Let your thumbs connect to your heart. Belly should still be on the thighs. And then begin to peel your chest away from your thighs, keeping all your weight back into the heels. All right, now we're feeling alive. Now we're feeling sensational. So find that sensation that ground, that fire, and then maybe you take the fingertips high. Take a deep breath in. Notice where the shoulders are. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Maybe you sit down a little bit deeper. One more breath here. And with your exhale, take it into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you're going to plant the hands once again, vinyasa. These are optional. So you can skip them and come straight to down dog, or maybe you need a break in child's pose. Always available. We'll meet in downward dog. All right, now we're going to shift weight into your left foot. Begin to reach your right heel straight back behind you. Roll out your ankle a few times. And then go ahead and bend your right knee. And begin to open your right knee to the sky like you're drawing a big circle with your knee. And then you're going to drop it back down. Make another big circle with your knee. And then pause as it's open here. That left heel sinking down straight behind you. Equal weight in both hands. 
Maybe you look under that left armpit. See if you can see your right toes. Take another breath here. As you exhale, you're going to bring that right knee towards your nose as a transition. Step your right foot between your hands. Left heel comes to the floor. Inhale, warrior one. Start with the hands on your hips. Toe heel that right foot. We have a tendency to kind of walk on a tightrope here. So toe heel that right foot to the right side. Bend your right knee over the ankle and then see if you can square that right hip back, left hip forward. Re-anchor into your back foot. Nice, solid warrior legs. Inhale, sweep the fingers to the sky. Exhale, cactus your arms. Leaning into this heart opening space. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, release the hands behind your back. Interlace the hands. Lift up the heart. Big, open-hearted warrior. And then humble warrior. We're going to bow down towards the inside of your right leg. You can stay here, or maybe you relax the head. Hands stay grounded on the back, or again, you can lift them overhead towards the sky deep in the stretch here. Take a breath in, and exhale it out. Release your hands down to meet the floor. Come onto the ball of your back foot so that you're in a lunge now, low lunge. Left hand, roots, right arm lifts up to the sky, opening up. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, right hand to the ground, back into that three-legged dog as you bend the knee and open up the hip. Pause here, big breath. And then you're going to bring that right foot forward in between your hands. Spin the left heel flat. This time we're opening up into warrior two on the right side. So I'll turn to face you guys. Bend the right knee over your ankle. So you're really sending it deep into a lunge here. At the same time, you're anchoring into the back foot and finding a lift through the crown of your head. Big breath in and out. Inhale, you're going to begin to reach forward through the right arm. Bend at the elbow. Bring your elbow to your right thigh. Stack your left arm to the sky. So notice where you're gripping. I just noticed for some reason I'm gripping in my left shoulder. So try to soften some of the sensation that's optional here. We don't have to struggle through our practice. We can create space and eat. Connect and breathe. On your next inhale, reaching with that left hand to rise back up into warrior two. On an inhale, straighten your right knee. We're going to reverse triangle, left hand to the left leg, right arm reaches up and back, finding really long side body stretch in the right side. And then on your next inhale, you're going to rise up and come into triangle. Right hand shifts back to right shin. Left arm this time stacks up and open. Feel the grounding into your heels. Feel the lifting up through the heart. Left arm opening back. And then on your next inhale, reach all the way up. And as you exhale, you're going to turn the right toes so that they're facing in towards parallel. So your feet are parallel. Take the hands behind your back again. Inhale, lift up and open through the heart. And as you exhale, long forward fold, heart leads the way. Again, another chance to keep the hands at the back or lift them up overhead. Give your head a big shake, yes. And shake no. Breathe a moment here, grounding through the feet. Soften behind your knees. On an inhale, halfway lift. On an exhale, release your hands to the ground in front of you. You're going to press up so that your shoulders are right over your wrists. Take an inhale. Turn your right toes back to the top of your mat. Begin to walk your hands all the way back around. Bend into the right knee. We're finding a lunge in that right knee. This time you're going to take that left foot and step it forward to meet your right. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant through the heels. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. On your exhale, bring your hands together at your heart. Begin to root into your left foot. We're going to bring our right ankle over and across the knee into a figure four. So bending a little bit in your standing knee is going to help you find a little more stability. Flex and activate that right foot. You're pressing the knee down towards the ground. You can stay right here, just breathing, balancing. Or perhaps you begin to fold your torso forward, folding a little bit deeper, feeling that left hip really turning on here to help support you if you're folding. Pause. When your arms come onto that right leg, take an inhale. And maybe you come all the way down, fingertips to the ground, and begin to let your head release down. Take a few breaths in and out here. If you took the forward fold, we're going to mindfully unwind ourselves. So start by lifting the hands from the ground, bringing them back into one another prayer center. And slowly begin to peel the heart up to come back upright into your figure four. And then stepping into the left foot, the right foot comes to meet the left. Shake out your left leg. Feet together, top of your mat. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Fingertips to the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, leading with your heart. Option to take a vinyasa here or to skip it. So chaturanga or a not aranga, your choice. Sweeping the heart forward if you're taking that back bend, cobra or up dog. And then hips move high into downward facing dog. Pause here. Begin to root into the right foot. The left heel is going to sweep back. Bend your left knee and let your left knee open up wide. Right heel sinking down. Make a couple of circles with that knee. And the next time you uh, open it up, keep it up and open. Maybe looking under your right armpit for those, right, for those left toes. One more inhale here. And then you're going to look forward and bring your left foot to meet your hands. Right heel coming to the earth. We're rising into warrior one. Hands start at the hips. You can toe heel that left foot open. Bend left knee over ankle. And then square your hips. Anchor your back foot. Feel your legs. We're warriors here. We're strong and stable. But we're enlightened. So we're light. We're lifting up through the crown. Maybe the fingertips lifting up. Inhale. Exhale, finding cactus arms. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then take your hands behind your back. Interlace them. Pause. Find your non-dominant grip. So switch your hands here. Peel the shoulders back. Lift the heart. Open-hearted warrior. Breathe here. And then leading with your heart, we're folding down to the inside of your left foot. Hands can stay grounded on the back or lift them up and away. A little deeper stretch in the shoulders. Breathing in and out here. You can inhale. With your exhale, hands come down to the meet the floor. Come onto the ball of your right foot. Right hand stays planted. Left arms opening up, finding this open-hearted twist. Inhale. Exhale. Left hand comes to the earth. Left heel back to the sky. Three-legged down dog. Big open knee. And then we're going to bring that knee forward. Step it between the hands. Make your way to warrior two on the left side. So the left knee is bending over your ankle. The outer edge of your right foot is planted and you're finding strong, stable base again. Arms reaching wide, finding that enlightened breath. And then inhale, reach forward through the left hand, bend at the elbow, left forearm to left thigh, right arm reaching up to the sky. Finding yourself, your breath here. Keep rooting into your feet. 
and then reaching with that right hand, lift yourself back up into your warrior two. Straighten your left knee, we're reverse triangle, right hand lowers, left arm reaching up and back. Big stretch through the left side body, breathe. And then on your next inhale, lifting up through that left arm, begin to reach back forward, find length in the lower body as the left hand finds your shin, stack the right arm to the sky. Triangle pose, breathe here. Ground into your right heel. Draw the navel in, get really open here. And then on your next inhale, you're gonna rise all the way back up. This time you're turning your right toes to the back of your mat so that the toes are facing to either side, maybe a little bit of a diagonal. Inhale up and open, finding a starfish pose, and then exhale down into goddess. So you're finding those cactus arms. Inhale here. As you exhale, take your right elbow towards your right hip or your right knee. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left elbow towards your left knee. Inhale to center. Exhale, right elbow towards your right knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, left elbow, left knee. Inhale, center. And straighten all the way back up. Turn your heels once again. Interlace your hands in your non-dominant grip. Open up the chest. We're taking it into a forward fold. Hands stay on the back or lift up and away. Shake your head yes. And shake your head no. Big breath in. And big breath out. And then go ahead and release your hands down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Turning your left toes back to the front of your mat. Begin to walk yourself over that left foot. Finding a low lunge. Left foot means the right foot. High plank. Exhale, lower down. Taking your flow or just meeting in. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, exhale it out. Look forward to the top of your mat, bring both of your feet to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. On the inhale, we're gonna sweep our fingertips all the way to the sky and exhale, hands to heart center. Rooting into your right foot, we're finding that figure four balance. So crossing the left ankle over the right knee, hands to center, or heart center. You're taking a slight bend in that right knee for stability here. So feel free to stay upright working on your balance, or you can begin to descend, taking the heart forward, pausing when your arms get onto your left leg, take an inhale, and then fingertips can come to the earth as you take it into a full forward fold. Deep breath in and exhale it out. Soften what you can. On your next inhale, if you folded forward, begin the process of unfolding slowly and mindfully. Hands come together and then you begin to lift all the way back up into your figure four. Bring your left foot to meet your right. Sweep all 10 fingers to the sky, inhale. Exhale, take it down, forward fold. Last vinyasa, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, optional as always. We're gonna meet in downward facing dog. And take a moment to breathe here. Last vinyasa. We're gonna take that right heel to the sky, bend and open up the right hip, big breath. And then look forward, this time you're bringing your right knee and nestling it between, behind your right wrist for pigeon. Left foot, left leg is gonna walk long out behind you. Keep your fingertips planted in front of you like a little tent and lift yourself up out of sitting into the weight of your hips. So lift yourself up 
Feel that right hip squaring back, the left hip squaring forward. And then take a couple of breaths in this proud pigeon with your heart lifted. And then as you're ready, we're gonna come all the way down. You can come to the forearms or maybe bring the forehead down to the ground. Take a few breaths. Acknowledging the sensations that arise. And they're just a tool for awakening our awareness, giving us an opportunity to listen to the wisdom of our own body. So just notice how you meet with the sensations, especially the uncomfortable sensations. Because the suffering part is optional. When we suffer, that means we are not accepting things as they are and navigating through. We're wishing them different. We might feel frustrated, fearful, or angry. Whatever the sensation, we meet all of it. And then just give yourself a little break from having to do anything here or feel any different. And the beauty of this practice is that the process is where it's at. There is no big prize at the end. The prize is the process. I'm beginning to come back up onto the hands. I'm gonna take that right leg back to the sky, three-legged down dog, shake it out, let some circulation come back into your hip. And you'll set the right foot down to meet the left. We'll take that, so the, that hip stretch on the other side. Lift your left leg up, bend and open up your knee. Big inhale here. And then go ahead and bring your left knee behind your left wrist, crossing your shin across the mat. And then you're gonna toe Toe knee, toe knee, that right foot back. Walk your hands in a little closer to your left shin and lift up through the hips. Square the right hip forward, the left hip back. Finding this proud pigeon, a nice big open heart, nice big open breath. And then we'll settle forward into our resting pigeon. Hands, forearms come to the mat or maybe the forehead. Close your eyes and begin to listen. Listen to the language of sensation. And let it be a process for you to find some ease, even in the discomfort. Finding ease and discomfort, that is the purpose here of our practice on the mat, off the mat. What we resist persists, no matter how hard we push it away. So meet yourself, open yourself, and again, give yourself a break. You're here, you're doing the best you can. I'm going to come back up onto the palms here. Final downward facing dog. That left leg's going to shake out as much as you need to kind of release circulation back into the hip. And then you'll have both feet planted. Taking one more moment here in your final down dog. And notice perhaps you're struggling a bit less here than the first time you arrived perhaps feeling a little less resistance, a little more openness, one more breath in. And then as you exhale, you're gonna drop your knees and drop your hips back into a child's pose, ground the forehead to the mat. Feel yourself nurtured here, whatever intention brought you to your mat. 
honoring and finding gratitude for meeting yourself here. And then you'll begin to lift your head, walk your hands towards your knees and just shift your hips over to one side and allow the legs to come out in front of you. And you'll just shake them out. All right, we're gonna come all the way lying down onto the back now. Get ready for concluding our practice today. So let's draw the knees up and into center, rock from hip to hip, and give your lower back a little massage here. And then bring the feet together, the knees wide, hands to ankles or the outsides of your feet. Butterfly out the knees. Try to keep your shoulders rooting down away from your ears and on the mat. Pressing your knees and inner thighs away from you. Breathe here. And then we'll transition from here into our happy baby. So keep your knees wide. The feet start to come to face the ceiling or the sky. And you grab a hold of your feet. Or maybe you grab a hold of your shins or perhaps even the inside of your knees. And you can rock from side to side, finding another little massage in your low back. And then nestling into center. Take a few breaths here. to keep your right hand on your right foot. Let go of your left leg and straighten it all the way down towards the ground. Take a moment here in a reclining lunge. And then release the right foot and bring the knee to the center of your chest. Give your knee a hug. And we're gonna take a spinal twist here. So your right arm will reach out to the right side and then with your left hand, start to take it to the left and roll onto your left hip so that your knee and your, your right knee and your right shoulder are moving in opposite directions. Breathe into the stretch. One of my favorites here is to bend the right arm See if you can find the edge of your mat and then just kind of pull the mat away from you and allow that right shoulder to draw down towards away from the ear. And go ahead and release and bring your right knee back into center and you'll take it out to the right side. Find your half happy baby and then bring your left knee in. Find your full happy baby. This time, release the right leg, extend it long onto the mat. Take a couple breaths here in this reclining lunge. And then we'll take it into that spinal twist. So knee to the chest, left arm reaching out, and then begin to guide that left knee over to the right. As you draw that left knee to the right, you're drawing that left shoulder down towards the floor, finding a Rotational twist in the spine. And then we'll go ahead and begin to come back into center. Bringing that left knee out to the side into your half happy baby. One last time, bring the right knee up into your full happy baby. Bring the feet back together to touch. Draw this time the knees together into, close them like a book into a little ball. And then squeeze in from your thighs, bring your nose up toward your knees and find a tight little ball. Pause here, take a breath in. And stay for your exhale, squeeze it in. And then at the end of that exhale, Begin to unravel, lengthening out through the legs. 
opening out through the palms, finding space, finding surrender. Close your eyes. Expand your breath. Listen to the language of sensation. Anywhere you might still be feeling some tenderness, tension, tightness. Let yourself actively try to relax, to soften. Soaking in these few moments that are really the sweet nectar of this yoga practice. Our ability to be with ourselves a little more raw, feeling a few of those hard exterior layers of resistance, tension. So expand for these last few moments deep into the movement of your own breath. It wash through you, wash over you, inspire you to release. Breathing in and breathing out. Soaking in the sweetness of being. Without effort, without stress. Tuning in to this place of peace and ease that lies beneath it all. Begin to breathe a little fuller, a little more deep. Waking up your fingers and your toes with the breath, moving and finding some motion in the wrists and the fingers and the feet and the toes. Reach your arms back overhead, stretch out. Our chance to renew, finding new energy, stretching new life. A new choice to start over. Draw the knees into your chest and you can rock front to back or roll to the side to come upright and meet me in a seat. We'll finish together our practice. Once you've arrived in this easy seated Sukhasana pose, go ahead and bring your palms together and rest your thumbs in front of your heart. Close your eyes. So this simple hand position, this mudra, is our salutation seal. And it's used to express reverence for ourselves. So take a moment, bow your chin to your chest, and give yourself credit and gratitude for, for making it to your mat, for opening up, for showing up, being vulnerable leaning in and listening. Take your thumbs to the forehead and you acknowledge not only this virtual community practicing with us today, but all of humanity that has come before us, that will come after us, that 
has given rise to the, our ability to, to have this practice, to find this light within ourselves. And the light in me, I honor the light and the wisdom within each and every one of you. Thank you for practicing with me today. See you next week. Namaste.